Hello guys, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi Norma. Hi. How's everything? How, Excuse me? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Oh, fine, fine, I think. I'm in a Very good. nice, very nice. Perfect. I'm glad to hear that. All right, there you go. So let me see who else is in here. Good evening, darling. Hazel, Crisia, and uh, Kelly is just getting connected. How was your day, guys? ¿Qué tal como estuvo su día? Was it good? Was it like not that good? Or was it stressing, guys? How was it? I say like darling is like ah, a little bit tired. Are you darling? I don't tend to cansada, así como que ah, pero ya va a recobrar energías cuando comencemos las prácticas que tenemos para esta noche. Estuvo bien. It was good. It was good. Yeah, it was good. Okay, that's nice. That's that's super nice. The only thing that uh, I got from San Salvador that is like ah. Uh, a little bit complicated in a somehow it's uh the traffic jesus christ traffic in san salvador is horrible ah, that's a nightmare i have been traveling uh a lot but not downtown san salvador it's like a little bit uh by metro centro Man, but even in there, when it's traffic is horrible sometimes. And I got away for hours. And in here, I mean, in comparison to the traffic that generally uh, is in Oriente, I mean, this is nothing. In here, we call traffic probably to, what, 10 minutes on traffic? And we're like, ah, that's too much. But there, yeah, man, in there is like super complicated. All right, just... Uh, let me see. Give me one second, guys. I am just rechecking because I don't know what did I do. My attendance list with you. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it's 8.02. So I guess your classmates are just uh, going to get connected that later on but let's start over with the class tonight so just give me one second just moving forward in here mm -hmm. give me a second guys the 24th the 25th Okay, there you go. So, darling, Jasmine. Is okay. Here. okay, good. Uh, David Rodolfo. Is David here? Mm, okay, so he's not here yet. Denis Adonai. Okay, so he's not here. Fatima Daniela. Presente. Ok, excelent. Gabriela Patricia. Ok, so just not here yet. Herbert Vidal. Herbert. Ok, so he is not here yet. Gladys Teresita. Presente. Ok, good. Uh, José Roberto. Hmm. Ok, not here yet. Teacher. Ah. Sorry, I have a problem with my microphone. Ah, ok. All right, Dennis, no problem. I'm going to sign here the, the attendance list. Ok. Uh, Juana Hazel. Presente. Ok, thank you. Julia Janira. 
-hmm. Julia Janira. All right, so she is not here yet. Kelly Marcela. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Crisia Vanessa. Present. Okay, very good. Manuel Jose Arce. All right, so he is not here yet. Marvin Obed. Mm, okay, Marvin. Thank you for answering, even on chat. Mauricio Giovanni. Mm, okay, so he is not here. Miguel Angel. Okay, so Miguel Angel is not here. Moises Alberto. Right here. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Natalie Andrea. <laughs> Natalie Andrea. All right, so she is not here. Norma Maritza. Norma. I'm sorry, present. Ah, okay, there you go. I saw you now. Okay, perfect. Ruth Noemi. Ruth, are you there? Okay, I guess you got a little bit uh, issues with uh, internet because I didn't listen that much. And I know you're there. Uh, Tamara Lisette. Tamara. Teacher. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, Mauricio. Okay. Here you go. I am here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Present. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Walter Antonio. Let me see. This is the last one. Let me see. And the last one, William Alexander. I don't know if William is here. Mm, okay, so he is not here yet. Okay, guys, like we are just going to go straight to the topic that we stayed yesterday we are going to provide a short feedback about what we were doing last class, okay? Now, guys, what do you remember from last class? Vamos a comenzar con un pequeño repaso, right? Trying to remember what we were doing last class, okay? Now, what do you guys remember from last class? ¿Qué recordamos de la clase pasada? What was the topic that we were discussing? Mm, okay, very good. We started with the bird to be. Perfect. What else were, were we doing? ¿Qué más recordamos? Okay, there you go. What else? Hi, Julia. You are the occupation. Okay, good. So besides the bird to be, we were discussing the occupations, right? Or professions in this case. We're going to see a couple of them um, on a short review that we got in the presentation. Okay, perfect. And besides that, what else um, do you guys remember? ¿Qué más recordamos? Negative statements ah. using the bird to be. Okay, very good. So we were positive and negative. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Norma. So we were discussing positive statements and negative statements, right? Negative, yes. Exactly. Very good. If you remember the differences between the above, la diferencia si recuerdan entre los dos es que en las negatives agregamos not justo después del verbo to be, right? Okay. Uh, something else, guys. Hemos estado practicando el uso del verbo to be en simple present. ¿Y cuáles son las tres formas del verbo to be que generalmente estamos practicando? Vamos a ver si recuerdan. 
I am, am, am is R. Is and R. You. Oh, very good. Uh, those ones are the subjects, Norma. Okay? Esos son los subjects con los que conjugamos el verbo to be. Okay? Entonces, okay. Eso es un papel I am. Importante. Exactly. Esos juegan un papel muy importante porque si ya ponemos el, el subject o el pronombre I, recordamos que ya la forma del verbo to be que vamos a colocar es am. Right? Ya si estamos hablando okay. de you, we, they, ya estamos hablando de are. Ah, pero si hablamos okay. de similares como he, she, o it, ya es is, right? Okay. Remember that, okay? Entonces ahí igual los pronombres los podemos sustituir con nombres propios, right? Entonces yo puedo decir, Crisia is, right? Entonces ahí en vez de she, yo digo el nombre propio, right? De la persona. Entonces ahí igual va la forma del verbo to be, is, right? So that was part of what we were discussing Uh, yesterday, Manuel, it says, oh no. Okay, Manuel, when you get home, uh, turn on your camera and you can participate, okay? No problem. Okay, guys, so basically that was part of what we were doing yesterday. Si recuerdan, había, nos habíamos quedado en una pequeña práctica de conversación, right? Pero veo que no todos están acá. Así que para que todos podamos participar o al menos los que pues... Eh, ya están en casa y, y, y lo pueden hacer porque veo que algunos todavía van de camino y eh, otros que todavía me comentan que están en trabajo así que what are we going to do listen guys since yesterday you were practicing with uh, your classmates now I'm just going to kind of read again the conversation and then I want to listen uh, randomly to you guys give me one second I'm going to share the conversation. This is the conversation. Can you see my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yeah. There you go. Okay, perfect. What are we going to do? Listen. I am going to read the conversation one time para que pues si nos hemos olvidado de alguna palabrita, eh, lo recordemos. Y luego voy a seleccionar algunas parejitas para que lo practiquemos acá de modo general, ¿ok? That's like the way how we're going to be doing. Ya no lo vamos a hacer con las parejas que hemos estado trabajando la clase pasada porque hay muchos que todavía no se han conectado, right? Ok, there you go. Remember, this is a conversation between Mary and Romeo, right? Those are like the people that we got there and also you got Rodrigo. So it says, listen, good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Right? Nice to meet you. It says, Romeo, nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Rodrigo says, welcome. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. Right? We are from the marketing department. Romeo says, no, I am not. Right? No, I am not. I am from the quality department. Okay? I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. They are marketing managers, it says. Rodrigo says, yes. We aren't, listen, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues, okay? But we are colleagues. That's the way it says here. And then Mary says, thank you so much for the information. Thank you so much for the information. 
Okay, good. Now I am going to be selecting a couple of you guys uh, just to do the short practice, okay? Give me one second, I'm gonna spread the list. And the first one on my list is Darling. Okay, Darling, can you help me out with uh, Norma? Darling and Norma, okay? You okay. can start, dar Darling, and Norma can follow you up, okay? Okay. Okay. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Uh, Norma, you got the microphone off. I'm sorry. Okay. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romero Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Rodrigo, welcome. We are from Dye Marketing Department. Uh, Romeo. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Rodrigo, yes. We are from that same department. But we are Polish. Thank you so much for the information. Okay, good. Just remember, we are colleagues, okay? Colleagues, as it were. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Norma. And thank you, darling. You did it excellent. Now, let me see Gladys and uh, Kelly. Help me out, please. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos. And they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing manager. Yes. Uh, yes, we I am from the same department, but we are colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Okay, thank you, Gladys, and thank you, Kelly. You did it excellent. Now, let me see Crisia and Tamara. I am Mr. Miss Mary Garcia. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. All right. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we are from the some department, but we are colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Tamara and Crisia. All right, now let me see who else is in here. Ruth and... Um, Mauricio? Chair, por otro momento. Ah, are you busy, Rina? Ah, okay, okay. Let me see. Mauricio, can you participate? Okay. Okay, give me one second. Only me. Uh, no, 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 no. Not only you. Uh, let me see. I'm going to look for a per. Um, Hazel. Alone. Sorry, alone. <laughs> Hazel, are you there? Can you participate? Okay, there you go. Okay. You're going to start, Hexa. Uh, hello, Hexa. Are you there? 
Eh, no, no se le escuchó. ¿Y ahora? Ahora sí, ya se le escuchó un poco más claro. Yo sería Mary. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo, Romeo Lobos. And they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are for the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we are I from the same department. Good, we are calling. Thank you so much for the information. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Mauricio and Hazel. Okay, now let's move on. Let me see who else can help me out on this. Moises, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Let me see. I'm going to look for a pair for you. Mm -mm -mm. Fatima, are you there? Yes. Okay, there you go. Moises, you can participate with uh, Fatima, okay? You can start, Fatima. Okay. Good morning, I miss Mari Garcia. I the NEP secretary. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> nice to meet you too. I am Miss Romeo Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. Where are you from? The marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we are from the some department, but where call it? All right. Thank you so much for the information. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Moisets. And, uh, all right, let me see. What is it? Is it me? So, se me perdió. Okay, there you go. Thank you, guys. Now, let me see. Who hasn't participated yet? Let me see. Julia, are you there? Yes. Okay, perfect. And uh, Manuel. Okay, you can start, Julia. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Manuel? Okay. Uh, yo soy Romeo, ¿verdad? Yes. No. Uh, nice to meet you. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos. I'm the uh, Mr. Rodrigo Campos. I am Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. Uh, no, I am no. I am from the quality department. They are marketing manager. Yes, we are from the same department, but we are colleagues. Uh, el último párrafo lo tengo que decir yo. Yes, yes, Manuel. Thank you so much for the information. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for the information. Thank you, Manuele. Thank you, uh, Julia. All right, you did it excellent. Thank you. Uh, let me see who else is missing, guys. Quien más me falta? I think it's just a couple of people that is missing. Da, da, da. 
Yo no he participado, guys. Aparte de Ruth. Ah, pero Ruth iba de camino a casa. Right. Uh, let me see. Ah, Dennis. Ok, very good. Ah, and Ruth is home. Perfect. Can you participate with Dennis, please? Ruth? Uh, are you there, Ruth? Okay. Good morning. I'm Mr. Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Too. Nice to meet you. Too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, what happens? From the same department, but we are colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Okay, there you go. Thank you so much for the information. Thank you to you both guys. You did it excellent. Okay, so basically that was part of what we were doing yesterday at the end, right? Now guys, what are we going to do? Listen up. We're gonna go down in here, okay? And we're gonna try to do these things. It says in here, this short activity, listen. Complete the sentences using some information from the conversation above. Okay, here you've got some sentences that are missing a couple of words. Okay, tenemos unas oraciones que les faltan unas palabras. Okay, entonces por lo general acá lo que le hace falta es el uso del verbo to be. Vamos a hacer la número uno y ustedes me ayudan con las demás. Okay, it says number one, Rodrigo and Luis, y luego dice. Marketing managers. ¿Cuál es la palabra que falta acá? R. R? R. Okay, very good. So this is the way how you got here. R. Okay. Very good. Can you guys help me out with number two, three, and four? Please. ¿Podrían ayudarme con las demás? Completenlas, all right, de acuerdo a la conversación que teníamos ahí. Ok. Eh, la, la número dos, para mí sería igual, R. Let me see. It says, Romeo and Rodrigo, dice, from the same department. Son Romeo and Rodrigo del mismo departamento. Ah, perdón, eh, sería, eh, we aren't. Vamos a ver qué dice a la conversación. Ok, si se fija, dice, no, dice Rubio, I am not, I am from the quality department, mientras el otro es de... Marketing. De marketing, exactly. Entonces ahí sería... Yeah. Yeah. Arendt. Arendt. Okay, very good. Arendt. That's the way. Arendt. That will be the way. Okay, perfect. Let's do the other ones. We are colleagues. Okay, perfect. We are colleagues. All right, and here is Arendt. Right. Uh, apostrophe. All right. 
in here you got are, as you said. La cuatro sería they are. All right, there you go. They are in the same company, right? Okay, very good. Okay, perfect. That's the way how it works, guys. Okay, now, once done this one, let's go down to the next one. Una pregunta. Yes. Este, los links que aparecen aquí en cada sección de, de aprendizaje, mm -hmm. ¿está asociado a lo que estamos aprendiendo o es solo para... Son links adicionales. Es adicional, es como para aprender a pronunciar las palabras. Exacto, es como una extra, es un, como una extra practice eh, que de cierto modo están un tanto asociados, right? Eh, digamos, uh -huh. el vocabulario que estamos viendo acá, right? Hay algunos audios también, okay? Yeah, it is related to that. And if you got the time uh, to open them up, you can do it, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, there you go. So basically in here, guys, this is like what we were just doing yesterday as well, right? This is like just the part of uh, the one that we were doing yesterday. Let me see. Oh, cool. That's a slide one. Okay. The first thing that you were doing yesterday, it was related to the uses of B, but mostly on first and third person. Now, guys, acá tenemos una actividad casi similar a la que hicimos ayer, ¿ok? Solo que aquí estamos hablando con, digamos, de plurales, right? Ya usamos you, they, Susana, and Marcos. So, in that case, it's two people. Y aquí es plural, right? Tenemos we, right? Y tenemos they. Ahora bien. Si se fijan en algunas, en algunas situaciones en paréntesis, tenemos la profession or occupation, accountants, supervisors, uh, colleagues, receptionists. Tenemos nada más el uso de be, right? And we got be. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a completar las oraciones, ¿ok? Usando el verbo to be apropiadamente con la profession que tenemos ahí en paréntesis, ¿ok? Let's try to do this, guys. And let me know when you finish, ¿ok? Me lo hacen saber cuando terminen, right? Let's complete that one. If you have any questions, just let me know, okay? Uh, what do you say, Ruth? Dijo algo, Ruth. Eh, no les alcancé a escuchar muy bien. Sí, eh, el primero... Uh -huh. eh, Podría solucionarlo como ejemplo. Ah, ok, good. Si se fija en paréntesis, tiene la palabra receptionist. Ok, there you go. Entonces, como tenemos el pronombre they, y they hace referencia a ellos, ayer estuvimos viendo que they lo ocupamos con el verbo to be, la forma del verbo to be, are. Ok, entonces ahí solo colocamos la palabra que tenemos en paréntesis ahora. No. And you got it like this. They are receptionists. It's like to say ellos son recepcionistas. All right? So this is like the way how you are going okay. to do the elements, okay? And number two, remember, that's negative because you got not. Yeah. Okay. Let me know when you finish, okay? 
Entonces, a ver cuando hayan terminado. I can finish. Ah, ok, perfect. Finish. Ok, thank you. Finish, teacher. Ok, perfect. Thank you, Julia. Préstame el lápiz, Brando. No, yo te la di a vos. No. Ay, la cinco y la seis no puedo. Sí, lo voy a ocupar. Uh, la palabra supervisor, ¿cómo es la pronunciación? Uh, supervisor. Supervisor. Yes. You are not supervisor. Okay. Eso sería good. Recuerden que las que aparecen en paréntesis, el verbo be, recuerden, no se coloca be eh, así como, como en forma base. Tiene que eh, colocar la forma del verbo to be de acuerdo al pronombre que tienen al inicio. Ok. How come it? Bye, hija. Let's try to modify that, guys. Okay, and let's try to check them. Debo suponer que ya la mayoría terminó, así que... Let's check it. Sí. All right. Okay. Okay. Here. All right. So you got it in here. You, remember, after you, you got the uses of the verb be, right? In the form of the verb be that you got with you, it's are, right? But since the sentence is negative because you got the word not, remember, the word not, not, it goes after are. And you got not, and then mm -hmm. supervisors. And you got it like this, right? They are not supervisors. So I guess this is the way how you got it, right? Debo suponer que así la tenemos. Okay, now the next one. Crisia, can you help me out reading number three? Le coloqué, okay. we are not. Eh, perdón, Susana and Marco are not colleagues. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Crisia. Yeah, that's correct. Remember, acá como estamos mencionando a dos personas, Susana and Marcos, that's something plural, right? So that's why you got are. Y acá pues como tenemos la palabra not, eso hace la oración negativo y luego al final colocamos el complemento, que en este caso sería la occupation, right? Or oh, oh, the noun in this case at the end. So Susan and Marcos are not colleagues. That's the way how it, it gets. Now let's move on to the next one. Let me see. There's someone that can, can help me out. Hey, Sel. How is now before? We are. A okay, that's like a little bit sample, right? We are accountants, like this. Okay, very good. So this is the way how it got it, right? We are accountants. Okay, perfect. Now, alguien que me ayude con la número cinco, ¿cómo sería? We are There you go. Thank you. We are K 
Carla and Sandra, right? Eso es como para decir, ah, somos Carla y Sandra, right? So you just get R over there. Now we got the last one over here. Uh, let me see who can help me out with the last one. Mm -hmm. Mauricio, what is number six? Okay. They are mm -hmm. Mr. Herrera mm -hmm. and Miss Mejia. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this is the way how we how we get it, right? They are Miss Herrera and Miss Mejia. This is the way how you got it there, guys. Si así la tenemos, that's correct, okay? Now, let's try to move on. Bien, una vez hecho acá, vamos a movernos al siguiente ejercicio. ¿Quién me acerca, guys? This is like... Okay. okay. Now let's try to move on, guys. <laughs> okay. Now, as you can see here, guys, we got a short conversation, okay? We got a short conversation over here. Now, listen, in here, if you see in this part of the manual, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's funny. In here, we got a, uh, a part of a conversation, okay? And that I need you to help me out, okay, to complete, okay. So in here, guys, if you see, it says, it says, hello, I am, ¿cómo le pondríamos acá? Pues en este caso, aquí podría ir su nombre, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero en este caso, ustedes le pueden colocar su nombre, por así decirlo. ¿Cómo así? Hello, I am, en este caso lo voy a llenar con la mía. Juan. Goes like this. Ustedes le pueden poner Tamara, Manuel, right? Uh, Norma. Got it like that. It says, hi, nice to meet you. We. ¿Qué creen que va acá? What do you think it goes here, guys? Podría ser. We are eh, eh, Tamara and Norma. Exactly. We are, okay. Tamara and Norma. There you go. Porque aquí ya estamos hablando de posiblemente, bueno, en, según la indicación acá son dos personas más. Dice two new classmates. Entonces, we got it like this. We are Tamara and Norma. There you go. Entonces acá, ¿cuál sería su ocupación, por así decirlo? Vamos a poner una ocupación acá. There you go. Let's say, we are... Um, what? Something easy. Engineers. Okay. Engineers. Okay, we got it like this. We are engineers. Okay, and you got it like this, right? When you say occupations, we are engineers. You got it like that. Y luego dice, uh, really? Um, en este caso, como lo he hecho con mi información, yo puedo poner, um, a, Teacher. Okay. And he got it like this. Okay. Good. Entonces aquí pide. Pues enough. Aquí pide que continuemos la conversación con tres renglones más. Okay. Good. ¿Qué preguntas haríamos para continuar la conversación? Let me see. Could you help me out, guys? Ah, ok. All right. ¿Cuántos años tienen? Ok. How old? How old? Ayúdenme. Are you? Exactly. Uh, 
you. Okay. How old are you? Okay. In my case, yo pondría, I am... Thirty years old. Okay. I am thirty years old. Okay, in Z. It says C. In here, one of uh, uh, these people, maybe Tamara says. I okay, aquí sería ella en plural. Oops, give me one second, guys. Aquí ya sería en plural. We are uh let me see what year let me see we are uh, we are the same company teenagers 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 hmm Vaya, si el B me pregunta, how old are you? I am 30 years old. Entonces, ah, si sí, ustedes lo pueden decir así. We are teenagers. Pues, ah, somos adolescentes. There you go. Right? Not to be specifying the years. <laughs> okay. Or the age in this case. It will be like this. Okay. <laughs> sí. I ah, mean, I wish, I wish to have, you know, like the same age I used to have like 10 years ago. Okay, so this is like the way how we can complete this structure, right? So nice, nice, let me see. Okay, so we got it this way. Now, guys, I'm going to stop sharing these because I need to show you something related to the topic that we're going to continue tonight. So let me know when you finish copying that, okay? Me hacen saber cuando hayan terminado de copiar eso porque voy a dejar de compartir para presentarles lo relacionado al tema de esta noche. But it says in here. Are you still copying that, guys? Are you still copying that? Terminaron? Finish, yes. Okay, good. Now I'm going to stop sharing this. A second, I'm going to clear up this. Okay, and I'm gonna stop in here because I need to show you something. Okay, so this is like the main topic, guys, that we are going to be discussing tonight. Just that this is the video conference number two. And the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight is going to be jazz. And no questions, it's missing no there, and short answers, right? And here, this is like the way how we're going to be discussing these ones. Now, 
let's start with the short class agenda that we are going to be developing for the rest of the class. We got the review from the previous class. Es algo que acabamos de completar, parte del review que estuvimos eh, de la clase pasada. We got the short conversation related to the topic that we were doing. And now we're going to be discussing the introduction to questions and short answers. Right? Ahora bien, ya vimos positive sentences, negative sentences, y ahora vamos a ver un poco de cómo crear preguntas cortas, right? Usando el verbo to be. That's the way. Then you're going to give me a couple of examples, guys. And at the end, we are going to be working in the manual, right? In a series of activities related to the topic, right? So this is like the most relevant that we have for the rest of the class. Now, let's go over that, guys. All right. This is like part of what we were doing yesterday, okay? Well, esto es parte de lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Lo vamos a poner así. Solamente le vamos a dar una pequeña leída, okay? Para tener claro los positive statements y negative statements. Kelly, help me out reading the first one. I am a dentist. Thank you. Tamara. You are a lawyer. A lawyer. Okay. Lawyer. You okay. are a lawyer. Thank you. Darling. He is a reception. Receptionist. Receptionist. Okay. Thank you. Julia. He is a secretary. Okay. Very good. Mauricio. We are engineers. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Uh, Moises? You are truck drivers. Okay, thank you. And we got the last one over here. Uh, Dennis? They, they are dentists. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Now, let's jump into the negative sentences, right? Or negative statements. Uh, Ruth? I am not a dentist. Okay, there you go. I am not a dentist, right? Good. Uh, Gladys? You are not a lawyer. Okay, thank you. Obed? Are you there, Obed? Mm, I think Obed cannot participate. Yeah, I, I didn't listen to him. So, Natalie, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Can you help me out reading this one? It's the third one, right? Yeah, yeah. He is a receptionist. Uh, the negative. Oh, sorry, sir. He is not a receptionist. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Somebody else help me out with this one. Uh, okay, let's go over that again. Uh, Norma? She is not a secretary. Okay, very good. Grisia? We're, we're not engineers. Okay, we're not engineers. Excellent. And then we got the next one over here. Uh, let me see, darling again. You are not to drive. Truck drivers. Truck drivers. Okay, there you go. And Dennis. Oh, sorry, teacher. They are not dentists. Okay, they are not dentists. Okay, so remember, the only difference between affirmative and negative statements is like in negative statements, you use not after the verb to be. Okay, so I think everything is clear with this. Now I can jump into the next 
part of the class. Okay, so we got some occupations here. For the topic that we're gonna be developing, I think it's necessary just to go further with this, okay? And you got in here the first word, you got manager, right? Manager. Supervisor. Okay, this is like the correct pronunciation. Supervisor. Okay. Then you got dentist. Dentist. Okay. Service provider. Okay. Service provider. Do you know, guys, what is a service provider? What does the word service provider mean? ¿Qué creen que significa esta palabra? Service provider. All right. Service provider means proveedor de servicios. Right? That's what it is. Service provider. Okay. So then we got student. Like in this case, now you becoming a, a student, right? Teacher, doctor, all right? That's like something that you know already, guys. Architect, okay? Remember, this is like the word, how it's pronounced, architect. Carpenter, right? Carpenter. Technician, technician, right? Assistant, there's another one, assistant. Cashier, right? Cashier, what is a cashier? Cajera. Cajera, cajera, right? That's what it is. That's like like the meaning of it. Very good. Sales manager, right? What is what do you think is a sales manager? Jefe de ventas. Okay, very good. Jefe de ventas, right? Gerente de ventas. That's the way. And I think this is the last. One. Okay, I don't know if you're copying those those uh, words, guys. If not, I can move on. I think you copied that already. Okay, now let's move. Let's say just no questions and short answers. Okay, now. As I said, we were discussing positive statements, negative statements. Now we are going to start discussing short questions called just no questions. And this is the structure, guys. Y como en todo, right, hay fórmulas o patrones que seguir. Y en inglés, pues, este es el caso también. Right, entonces esta es como la estructura que nosotros siempre debemos de seguir para crear preguntas cortas de modo correcto. Right, so you got the verb to be at the beginning. Remember, si yo acá coloco the verb to be, me refiero a las tres formas del verbo to be que tenemos en el presente simple. Right, am, um, is, and are. Okay. Those are like the forms of the verb be that I'm talking about here. Okay, verb to be plus the subject. Remember, the subject can be any pronoun or a proper noun, okay? Recuerden que el, verb, eh, el subject puede ser cualquier pronombre, okay? O nombre propio, right? And then you got a complement. Y luego tenemos un pequeño complemento. ¿Para qué nos sirve el complemento? Pues básicamente para hacer la pregunta más específica. Right? That's what it is. All right. Now, we got examples. Give me one second. 
We got it like this. So you see? En una oración positiva nosotros decíamos, you are a dentist. Ahora, en una, hora, en una pregunta corta, en una just no question, solamente invertimos, ¿ok? Invertimos el verbo to be con el sujeto. En una oración afirmativa, primero va el sujeto, luego el verbo to be. Acá no, acá es al revés. Primero el verbo to be para después el subject, ¿ok? Y decimos, are you a dentist? Right? It's like, ah. Uh, ¿Eres un dentista? Ok, and for this question, guys, you got two models of answers. If it is positive, you will say, yes, I am. Right? Si es positivo, es lo que vamos a decir. Yes, I am. Right? Sí, sí lo soy. If it is negative, you will say, no, I'm not. Ok? No, I'm not. I'm not. And you got the negative answer on that. Okay. Good. So like this is like the first model of question that we got from a just no question. Okay. Good. With this uh, example, guys, and the structure, eh, tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá, alguna duda, algo que no esté quedando del todo claro. Recuerden que la idea es que todos podamos ir en una misma secuencia, ¿ok? So, if you have questions, remember, ask. So, I don't know, guys, if everything is clear. ¿Todo está claro hasta ahora? ¿Cómo se ve la si fuera en plural? Mm, ¿Podría repetirme la pregunta, por favor, Ruth? Casi no la escuché. ¿Cómo se daría esa misma pregunta, pero en plural? ¿En plural? ¿Sí? Ok, va, si estamos hablando, ok, de un plural, listen up. Si la misma pregunta usted se la hace a un grupo de personas, ya aplicaríamos el you, pero de plural, right? Supongamos que usted uh, uh, se encuentra a Norma y a Darling, ¿ok? Y les pregunta, hey, are you, ya no sería a dentist, ¿ok? Porque a dentist, esto está denotando algo singular, right? Entonces su, su pregunta sería, are you dentists? Like this. Okay? Son dentistas. So you see, in this case, ya estoy pluralizando la palabra dentist. Y le quité el artículo A. Porque recuerden que este solo se utiliza para singulares. Entonces acá, la respuesta ya no sería yes I am, right? Entonces ellas le pueden contestar. Si la oración es positiva, ellas le dirían yes Yes, ¿qué? Ayúdenme. We are. Exactly. Yes, we are. ¿Por qué? Porque están afirmándolo las dos juntas, ¿ok? Yes, we are. Sí, lo somos. If it is negative, ya sería no, we. Tienen dos opciones para contractar en negativo. Pueden poner. Así, no, we are not, o lo pueden poner así, no, we aren't. Tienen dos formas de poderlo contractar en negativo. Pueden contractar el verbo to be con el pronombre y dejando not, ok, la like idea eh, solo, o pueden contractar el verbo to be con la palabra not y dejando libre el pronombre. Es exactamente lo mismo, ¿ok? Entonces, pero eh, lo pongo así para que eh, sepamos que también se puede eh, hacer de, de, de ambas formas, ¿right? And it's exactly the same, ¿ok? Entonces, 
Es, así ya sería una pregunta en plural, Ruth. No sé si eh, he aclarado su duda. Very good. No. Okay, perfect. Let's continue now. Okay, so in here, guys, we have a question on a third person, you see? And you got it like this. Is he a lawyer? ¿Cómo sería si la respuesta fuese positiva? Yes, he is. Okay, very good. Yes, he is. Right? That's the way if the answer is positive. If it is negative, no, he's not. Okay? O, ¿cuál sería la otra forma? ¿Cuál sería la otra forma negativa? No, he isn't. Ok, listen up. No, he isn't. Ok. This will be the other way around. Entonces, la sería la otra forma de poder hacer una respuesta o dar una respuesta en negativo. Right? There you go. Good, so I will give you time for you to copy that, guys. Eh, me avisan cuando hayan terminado de copiar esta parte, right? So that way we can move on. Okay, finish. Okay, perfect. Recuerden que al final de la clase, cuando termine, voy a, a, a subir la diapositiva al grupo, así como hice con la clase de ayer, right? Para que la puedan tener ahí. There you go. So now let's move on, guys. Let's move. I'm going to clear this. And uh, you got some extra examples. Okay. And let me see. And this is taken from the book. Okay. Esta parte ustedes la tienen en el manual. This is taken from the manual. Pero vamos a darles una pequeña leída acá, ya que, pues, eh, la tenemos acá, en esta parte. Y así ya no, nos vamos a estar complicando mucho al momento de ir a hacer las actividades. All right, it goes like this. Um, let me see who can help me out with this. Manuel, uh, are you there? Are you back? Hola, dígame. Ah, ok, good. ¿Podría leerme la primera pregunta? Uh, sería al lado izquierdo. Yes. Uh, are you Carlos? Ok, thank you. Listen up to this question, guys. Are you Carlos? This is like... Are you Carlos? Exactly. Like, are, are you, you Carlos? Carlos? Like, ¿Eres Carlos? Are you Carlos? So, you got two model of answers. Si es positivo, sería... Yes, I am. Right? Yes, I am. Oh, if it is negative. Yes, yes I am. No, I'm not. I am not. No, no en ese not. caso, listen. En este caso, cuando damos una respuesta corta, pero es negativo, por lo general, mmm, siempre va contractada. La respuesta en negativo eh, siempre va contractado. ¿Ok? La única que no va contractada es la forma positiva, ¿ok? Pero por lo general, cuando damos una respuesta negativa, recuerden esto, siempre va a ir contractada, ¿ok? Ah, entonces sería la, la negativa es contractada. Exacto. La positiva no va. No, la positiva en respuesta no, ¿ok? Entonces, si se fijan en la respuesta en primera persona, dice, yes, I am, o no, I'm not. Pero ahí, listen. Solo podemos contractar en primera persona. Solo podemos contractar am con I. Pero no podemos contractar am con not. No se puede. ¿Ok? Recuerden eso siempre. I se puede contractar con am. Pero am no se puede contractar con not. That's not possible. Okay. 
por eso si se fijan acá, solo tenemos una opción para responder en negativo. Ahora bien, con los demás pronombres, sí podemos contractar, ya sea is o are con not. Ok. Uh, like in the next example, uh, Crisia, help me out reading the question. Teachers and manager. Ok, good. Recuerden que la entonación sube un poco al final de la pregunta, ok, para no sonar tanto como una oración. Eh, sería más o menos como, is she a manager? Right? Sube un poquito de entonación al final. ¿Podría repetirme de nuevo, Cristian? She, she is a manager. Ok, there you go. Thank you. Is she a manager? So you see. So you got, yes, she is, if it is positive, but in negative, you got two options. Pero ya en negativo tenemos dos opciones, right? No, she isn't, o no, she's not. Esa es lo que les decía. Podemos contractar el verbo to be, en este caso, is, con not y también con el pronombre. Entonces, se puede de ambas formas. La única excepción es en primera persona. Then you got the next question. Natalie, help me a reading, please. Sure. Uh, could you please tell me which one? I, I, uh, I was in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, the third question. Okay. Is he a supervisor? Okay, there you go. Is he, thank you, is he a supervisor? So you see, now you got, yes, he is, right? And in negative, no, he isn't, or no, he's not. Entonces ahí pueden escoger cualquiera de las dos formas negativas si van a dar una respuesta negativa, right? Then you got the next one. Uh, let me see, Dennis. I can check which one. Sorry. Uh, the fourth one. Oh, okay. Are you police? Uh -huh. Yes, we are. Okay. No, we aren't. Okay. No, we're not. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Dennis. So you see, entonces es la forma también como podemos diferenciar el you plural del you cuando nos referimos a una segunda persona, right? Entonces, la parte del de nombre que colocamos. Esto es lo que me da a mí la pauta de que este you que tenemos acá no se está refiriendo a una segunda persona, sino a varias or personas. Bank, right? service provider. You go. Entonces, por el nombre o la profession que pongamos ahí, si es plural, es de you, estamos hablando de varias personas, right? Ya no sería el de tú, sino de ustedes, right? That's the way how we can identify them, right? And then we got the next, um, let me see, the next question. Eh, Tamara. Are, are they service pro, pro, providers? providers? Providers. Okay. Are they service providers? Okay, very good. Are they service providers? So you got the positive sentence. Yes, they are. But if it is negative, no, they aren't. Or no, they are not. Right? That's the way how you get these answers, right? And we have the last one. Uh, let me see who. Mauricio. Are your buses here? Uh, buses here. Uh, buses here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are uh, your buses yeah. here? Okay. Very good. Yes, they are. Huh? No, they aren't. 
No, they're not. Ok, very good. Thank you, mister. So, acá tenemos una pregunta en plural, pero esta sí va dirigida directamente hacia una persona en específico, pero no se pregunta directamente sobre esa persona, sino un grupo de personas adicionales. ¿En qué sentido tomamos esta pregunta? Supongamos que eh, llego y me encuentro a Tamara, ¿ok? En ese cuartito que está ahorita en Tamara y supongamos que es parte de su oficina y le digo a Tamara, hey Tamara, are your bosses here? Entonces, la pregunta es para ella, pero no es sobre ella, sino sobre sus jefes, ¿ok? Entonces, eso hace la pregunta que sea plural, ¿ok? Entonces, Tamara ya no me va a decir, like, yes, I am, right? Porque no se refiere a ella, sino a esas personas adicionales, ¿ok? A, eh, digamos, aparte. Entonces, ahí... Right? Ya ella me va a contestar con Yes, they are Si es positivo Es como, sí, están right? If it is negative No, they aren't Or the other way around No, they are not Okay, so that's just like the way How you got it, okay Give me one second Excuse me, I have a question Okay Okay, are you about to hear mm -hmm. Is are you this are um, es cuando se refiere a la ter a tercera persona se le agrega la r a you eh, no este you okay con r ya no es con like, r con ya r. no es ya no es de tú sino aquí estamos denotando un posesivo este you your significa tú eh, de digamos se le conoce como possessive adjective y aquí es cuando denotamos posesión ok, okay. como así uh, si yo le digo your house is big a tu casa ok de usted es grande entonces acá este your ya no es un pronombre sino más bien un Posesivo, un posesivo, un adjetivo posesivo, ¿ok? Que indica posesión. Entonces acá, ¿cuál es la posesión o relación en este caso? A, ah, estamos hablando, are your bosses here? Están tus jefes aquí, right? Entonces, su de ella, right? Entonces acá ya no tiene nada que ver el hecho de que, digamos, tengamos el pronombre ahí, sino que ahí usamos un posesivo para denotar, right? una relación o posesión. Que en este caso, cuando hablamos de persona, denotamos relación. Cuando hablamos de objeto, ya denotamos posesión. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo así? Supongamos que en un, en un hipotético caso, me encuentro un teléfono justo ahí eh, donde Tamara, y le digo, hey Tamara, is this, is this your cell phone? Entonces ahí sí, right, estamos denotando una posesión. ¿Ok? There you go. So that's the way. Eh, de hecho, creo que más adelante vamos a ver el uso de los possessive adjectives. Right? Y ahí vamos a ver el uso del your. Right? Como denotando posesión o relación. Ok. Now, until here, guys. Vamos todo claro hasta acá. ¿Hay alguna pregunta adicional que tengamos? Something that might not be clear to you guys. Va quedando todo claro como los fondos de pantalla de los que no tienen la cámara encendida. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. There you go. Now, let's move on, guys. Let's move. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yo aún estoy aquí esperando a mi hija. Ay, disculpe que no tengo la cámara. Ah, okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, there you go. Now, let's move, guys. Oh, we got some extra examples over here. Give me one second. I need to clear up this. And all this. Okay, good. Norma, help me out reading. 
Are they managers? Okay, good. Uh, Hazel? Read both answers, positives and negatives. Uh, they... uh, first, the positive. Leamos primero la positiva. Uh, yes, they are. Okay. Y luego, no, they are. No. They are. They are. Not. Uh -huh. Not. The, oh. No, they are not. Okay. Huh? ¿Y la otra forma? No, they are not. Ah, ahí sería aren't. 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 Exactly. That's the way. <laughs> no, they aren't. Okay. Very okay. good. Thank you, Hazel. Now, let me see who else can help me out on here. Julia. Are uh, Mario and Christian engineers? Okay, thank you. Are Mario and engineers? Uh, Gladys, give me both answers. Yes, they are. No, they, they are not. No, they aren't. Okay, very good. Right, so this is like the way how you got it, guys. Okay, good. So this is just a couple of extra examples that I wanted to show you guys before moving on to the manual, okay? Now, let me see. Okay, nice. Manuel, help me out reading this question. Manuel está recogiendo a su hija. Ay, no. hola, hola. Ya lo vi con la cabeza. <laughs> okay, bueno, no problem. No problem. You're, no, you're ahorita lo driver. digo. Uh, is Jose a truck driver? Okay, there you go. Is Jose a truck driver? Good. Moises, read both answers. Hello. Uh, can you help me out reading uh, both answers? Okay. Um, yes, he is. Yes, he's not. No, he isn't. Mm. What? Leame otra vez la primera forma negativa. No, he's not. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And no, he isn't. Okay, good. Ya se me hacía raro decir, yes, he's not. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, I mean. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I know, I know. I barely open my, my, my mouth when I'm speaking, so that's why, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Even in Spanish, it's like very difficult. <laughs> no problem, it happens. No problem, mister. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, let's move on. And this is just another one. Uh, Ruth? Is Jose a nurse? Okay, there you go. Is Carla a nurse? Thank you. Patricia? She is. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. No, she, she is not. Okay. No, she isn't. Okay, very good. No, she's not and no, she isn't, right? So those are per person questions, right? Aquí pues ya estamos hablando de singulares, right? Jose and Carla, right? In that case, that's, that's, that's singular. Good. Before moving on to the manual, guys, do you have any question? Antes de movernos al manual, ¿hay alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna duda? Everything okay? Por el momento, todo bien. Very perfect. good. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm going to stop in here the presentation. And let's go to the manual, guys. Give me one second. I'm going to let you know what page. This is going to be for tomorrow. Okay. 
cool. Now, I want, guys, you to go to page 13. Vamos a la página 13 de el manual. We are going now to do H-word practice. Well, vamos a tener una pequeña práctica en una conversación en la cual vamos a aplicar las formas contractadas de manera positiva usando el verbo to be, así mismo las negativas, y tenemos un par de preguntas ahí igual eh, con relación al tema que hemos estado viendo, right? So, this is a short conversation that we are going to be practicing, okay? It says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Now, we have a conversation between Ana and Carlos, okay? Those are like the protagonists of this uh, conversation. La voy a leer igual, como la anterior, dos veces, despacio. Ustedes con el micrófono apagado pueden practicar, right, after me, por eso voy a ir despacio, para practicar eh, la forma correcta de cómo se pronuncia cada una de las palabras. Y luego nos vamos a ir a un breakout room eh, de manera, um, digamos, en parejas, para poderla practicar, right, de mejor manera. Okay, let's start over. Let's say, it says Anna. Hello. Hello. I'm Anna Trujillo. I'm Anna Trujillo. Carlos says, hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Right? Anna says, Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Listen up, guys. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? Is she Miss Diana Andrade? Okay. Carlos says, No, she isn't. No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager. She is the manager of the company. Of the company. Anna says, okay. Okay. And are you the supervisor? Are you the supervisor? Carlos says, no, I am not. No. I am not. I am a sales person. I am a sales person. Anna says, Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, from this short conversation, guys, do you have any question with the vocabulary? ¿Tenemos alguna duda o pregunta con el vocabulario? ¿Alguna palabra que no comprendamos o que tengamos dificultad al momento de pronunciar? Ok, good. Su silencio me hace pensar que todo está super clear. Ok, there you go. Now, eh, I need to know, guys, eh, puesto que la mayoría de tener la cámara apagada, me gustaría saber quiénes pueden participar en la práctica de la conversación. Por favor, me podrían poner una manito ahí, eh, si no queremos encender la cámara, please, para poder identificar quiénes pueden, así para no mandarlos eh, directamente con otra persona, otro participante que no pueda practicar, ¿ok? Darling. Yo puedo. Ok, perfect. Fátima, ¿usted puede? 
Moises? Please help me out to confirm, ok? Así para mandarlos de oyentes. Creo que eh, Moisés no. Va, perfecto. Good. So I'm going to stop in here, guys. Y vamos a ir a practicar esta conversación por un par de minutos. Luego vamos a volver acá y la vamos a producir acá. Dime one second. Les voy a asignar de manera manual porque... Teacher, eh, disculpe. Ahorita voy a, voy a irme para la casa. Voy a manejar. Ah, ok. All right. Ajá, ahorita acaba de salir mi hija. Perfecto. Ok, denme unos minutitos. Ok. Give me one second, guys. I'm just getting to know this. Okay, good. Let's open up the breakout rooms, guys. And let's go to practice that conversation, okay? Accedamos por favor al breakout room para que podamos tener la práctica. Julia, are you there? Uh, Julian? Okay, so apparently she's not there. Why? Guys, are you there? Sorry, teacher. Um, um, okay. Okay, uh, I have the conversation. Um, darling. It's possible you can start with the conversation. Okay. Comienzo con Ana. Yes, okay. please. Hello, I Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she, is she Miss Diana Andrade? No. She isn't. She is Miss Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you, are you that supervision? No, I am not. I am a salesperson. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Ahora voy yo. Si querés, cambiamos, cambiamos eso y voy a ser yo, Carlos, y vos, Ana, ahora, eh, Pixie, eh, Alberto. Bye. Ok. Hello, I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Miss, Miss Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Bye. Ahora Bye. quiero ver. Eh, Norma sería Carlos y vos serías Ana. Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Mr. Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is a manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Hello, I'm Ana Trujillo. Nice to meet you. Uh, one question, is Julia here? Yes. Ah, okay, there you go. Uh, lo vamos a hacer de una, de, de, listen, al momento de la práctica en la main section, lo vamos a hacer a modo círculo. ¿Cómo así? Tamara, we'll be practicing with Ruth. Cuando terminen ellas dos, Ruth va a ir directamente y practicar con usted, Julia, ¿ok? Ok. Y luego... Luego, al finalizar, ustedes dos van a finalizar, usted, Julia, con Tamara, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. A modo que van a participar en ambas, en, en ambas formas de conversación, ¿ok? There you go. Okay. We'll be practicing more that way. All right, let's continue practicing. Ok. No, Yo la palabra super, supervisor. 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 Fue entrando el profe y lo dije bien. Ya ve, ya ve. No me acordaba. Ajá, ok. Y la, parte, eh, la parte donde está Carlos que dice: Not, I am not, I am sad. ¿Cómo me pronuncia? Ah, uh, give me one second. I'm gonna check out on it. No, I am not. I am a sales person. Sales, sales person. Sales person. Yeah. Gracias. You know what is a sales person? Saben qué significa eso? Sales person? Persona de sala o ven, pero de sala a el... vendedor. Ah, vendedor ah. de sala. Yes. No, sales es venta. Significa venta. Oh. Y sales significa ventas. ¿Ok? Pero si ya decimos sales person, vendedor. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Yeah. Ok. Give me a second. Entonces se pronunciaría no, she is, she, no, sería... She is not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way. Let me see. Okay. No. A ver, ¿a dónde? No, 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 ya sé. ¿Dónde está Carlos? La, sería la cuarta de abajo hacia arriba. Sería, no, she isn't. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. Ah, no, sería, no, she isn't. Ok, vaya. No, she isn't. No, no, she isn't. isn't. Y luego sería, 
she is Mrs. Mrs. Ah, esa, 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 esa abreviación así se pronuncia como Mrs. Mrs. Miss, uh -huh. cuando solo lleva la M y la S, Miss. ¿Ok? Por cierto, la M y la S hace denotar a una mujer cuando nosotros no conocemos el estado civil. Si es casada o es soltera. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. La palabra Miss, así M-I-S-S, -S, hace eh, referencia a una mujer cuando está soltera. ¿Ok? Tiene la misma pronunciación, ¿right? Que usando la M y la S. Solo que cuando usamos la M y la S es cuando no estamos seguros si está soltera o está casada. Ahora bien, si ya está casada, se usa esta, que ya sería Mrs. M-R-S. M-R-S. Ya ese hace notar que ya la mujer está casada. ¿Ok? Mrs. Y se Mrs. En la pronunciación es como, por ejemplo, los que, la que dice Ana, hello, se no, no se pronuncia I am, sino que se pronuncia am. Am, am exactly, exactly. Y ahí porque oh. está contractado, está unido el I y el am, right? Mm -hmm. En una sola palabra. Yeah. That's the way how it works. Ok, Perfect. estamos claros entonces. Nice, nice. Bueno, nada más voy a revisar a otro grupo más y luego nos vamos a ir a la sección principal porque ellas me van a ir a practicar, ¿ok? Ok. There you go. Ay, Fátima, ¿a cuál otra sala se refería? Hola, teacher, a esta sala. <risa> sí, que teníamos dudas porque cómo practicamos y después, ¿qué hacemos? ¿Cómo nos unimos a la otra? Dijimos? Ok, no, no se preocupen. Cuando ustedes tengan de querer eh, enviarme un, digamos, como una alerta que necesitan ayuda o algo, necesitan preguntarme, hay un botoncito que les aparece a ustedes que dice Ask for Help. No sé si lo notan por ahí. Ask for Help. Entonces, es la primera ahí. Y en cualquiera de las salas que yo esté con sus compañeros, a mí me manda una notificación que usted solicita ayuda. Entonces, en automático, le digo uh, hacia dónde está usted, ¿ok? Ok, ok. There you go. Perfecto. No, bueno, si ya terminamos de practicar, entonces sí, volvamos a la sala principal, porque ya los voy a escuchar, ¿ok? Bien. Ahora, lo desactivo okay. acá y usted nada más eh, dele aceptar y ya volvemos a la sala principal, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Ok, sí, ve. Alright, guys, who wants to break up the ice? ¿Quién quiere ser el primero? El primer eh, grupito. Porque sí, casi todos me resultaron no parejas en los grupos. All right, who wants to go first? ¿Quién quiere eh, decir, ah, oh, me, teacher, we're going to be the first ones? Nobody. Bueno, me volvieron todos. Give me one second. They're coming back. Hey, Fatima. All right, Fatima. Me, yo puedo. Okay, okay. Fatima, who, but, but give me one second. Fatima, ¿con quién está usted practicando? Who were you working with? Conmigo. Ah, with Gladys. Ah, yeah, right, you both. Yo no sé quién estaba conmigo. <laughs> Come on, Manuel. <risa> ya, no, 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 ya, no, le, ya le vamos a buscar ahí una parejita. No se preocupe. All right. So we're going to go that way. Cool. So, Fátima and uh, the, the Gladys, right? But bueno, voy a poner la conversación. And I want to listen to you both, okay? There you go. So, así como estaban practicando, podemos hacerlo entonces. Okay, empiezo yo entonces. Hello. 
I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she is not. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? No, I'm not. I'm Sarah the person. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Fatima and Gladys. All right. Listen up. Solo uh, uh, para, para un pequeño recordatorio. Please. Here, esta pequeñas letritas que tienen acá, la van a pronunciar como Mrs. 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 Okay. Mrs. Y recordemos, Mrs. Okay. Okay. y recordemos acá que cuando va contractado sería Isa. Okay. Isa. Okay, very good. So, thank you, Fatima and Gladys. Now, la próxima que dijo me, teacher, that was Norma. So, Norma, who were you working with? Um, con Moises. Mm -hmm. Con Alberto Murcia. Y... Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> Conmigo. Conmigo, sí, perdón. Tanto que hablamos. Que hablamos de todo con Natalie, Natalie, perdón, Natalie. <risa> y Natalie Hicimos sí. ahí entre, entre los dice Natalie. <risa> entre los tres uh, nos turnamos y hicimos los la práctica. Okay, good. It was you, it was Natalie and Alberto, Moisés Alberto. Ah, Alberto. Okay. Yeah. Vamos a hacer un cuarteto acá. Norma, I want you to practice in this case with Natalie, but I want uh, Alberto to be practicing with Manuel, porque Manuel está solito ahí. Right? Okay. Ya no vemos. Okay. Ya tenemos, ya tenemos un compañero ahí, Manuel. Okay? Good. No, 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 no. Exactly. So, Norma and uh, Natalie, you can start. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Eh, Norma, usted es Ana, entonces. Ok. Yo soy Kaka. Ok, perfecto. Hello, I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos López. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Excuse me, is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She's the manager of the company. Ok. And are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, very good. Yeah, thank you, Norma. And uh, what is it? Natalie, right? Okay, good. Now, yeah. says Alberto and... Is it me, so Manuel? Ah, there you go. Okay, let's go, guys. Okay. So, hello, I am Ana Trujillo. Hello. Well, <laughs> is Carlos over there? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's there. Manuel, are you there? Hola. Ah, ok. Good. Ya comenzó el, uh, Moisés Alberto. Right. Ah, ahorita voy yo. Yeah. Vaya. Perdón que estaba. Haciendo... Carlos. Ok, no problema. Vaya, este... ¿Con quién estoy ahorita? Ah, uh, so you're Carlos. Uh, you're with Moisés Alberto. Yo soy Carlos. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So let's start again. Hey. Um, hello. I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi. Ana. Hi, Ana. I am um, Mrs. Mrs. Se pronuncia ahora. Mr. Mr. Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Yeah. Hi, Ana. 
I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss uh, Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mr. Mrs. Then Mrs. Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am a person. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, very good. Thank you, Alberto and Manuel. Right? Thank you for Vaya, your... Una pregunta. Yes. Este, cuando se trata de, mi, de digamos, de varones, Mr. Ok, vamos a explicar un poquito eso. A ver. In uh, these kind of the derivations we got. Give me one second. ¿Dónde está? Here we go. You got Miss. You got like this. Ok. And then you got this one. All right. And then you got this one. All right. What is this, guys? Check this out. It goes like this. All right. Miss es para referirse cuando una mujer está soltera. Okay? Ah, uh, Miss. Cuando miss. Soltera. Yeah, Miss. Se le conoce como Miss. Señorita, en este caso, right? That's Miss. Tiene la misma pronunciación cuando tenemos esta otra. Aquí igual sería Miss. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Va, la diferencia es que Miss, la primera, lo usamos cuando sabemos que la mujer está soltera, right? Supongamos que Chris ya está soltera, entonces, y yo quiero ser un tanto formal con ella, le puedo decir, ah, Miss Cristia, ok, Miss Cristia. So, en ese caso, Miss Ahora es el indicativo de que está soltera. Ahora bien, este otro es cuando yo no sé o no estoy seguro si ella está soltera o está casada. ¿Ok? Entonces, se le dice así. Una M y una S. Miss. Tiene la misma pronunciación. ¿Ok? Ahora bien, pero si yo ya me doy cuenta de que Crisia está casada, ya sería el otro. Mises, 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 hace de notar de que ya la mujer está casada, ¿ok? Y para los, uh, los hombres, solo existe uno, Mister. Ya, Mister. Ahí está. Ah, ahí está. Sin, compl sin complicaciones. <ríe> There you go. Entonces, esa es la forma en cómo se utilizan, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, thank okay. you very much. Ok, there you go. I am going to delete them. Okay, now, who's missing? Ah, it's missing Hazel and, uh, and the other two that were practicing with her. Uh, so it was Crisia, Hazel, and Kelly, if I'm not wrong, or Tamara. I don't remember. Kelly. Kelly, right? Okay, there you go. Sí, yo. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Bueno, entonces, hagamos la práctica tal y como la estaban haciendo. Hello. Hello. I'm Ana Trujillo. Yeah. Huh? La haría del Carlos. <laughs> va, lo haré yo, va. Okay. Hi. Hi, Ana and Mr. Carlos López. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. He is Miss Diana Andrade. No, she is, an, she is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay, I are you the person? No, I am not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Ah, uh, okay, there you go. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Now. 
Uh, Kelly, I want you to practice with Hazel. Okay. Eh, empezaré yo. Now you're Anna, yeah. Hello, I'm Anna Trujillo. Hi, Mr. Carlos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she is not. She is Miss Diana Hilar. She is manager of the company. Okay, and um, are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am sad the person. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, there you go. Now I want to finish the circle, right? Let me see. Uh, nah, it's missing someone else. Now, Hazel, you're Anna, and Crisia, it's Carlos. Y ahí se llama el circle. Okay. Hello, I'm Anna Trujillo. Hi, Anna. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Excuse me? She is Miss Diana Andrade? No, she is, she is Mrs. Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And uh, are you the super, super, come on. Supervisor? Supervisor. Supervisor. No. no, I am not. I am salesperson. Okay, very good. Uh-huh. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, there you go. Thank you to you three girls. You did it excellent. Very good. Now, who's next? Who's missing? ¿Qué grupo me falta? Let me see. Ruth, you haven't participated, right? Who were you practicing okay. with? Oh. Uh, Gladys, uh, Tamara, creo. Okay, very good. Now, let's do it the way you were practicing, okay? Okay. Okay, yeah, you can start if you want. Okay. Hello, I'm Anna Trujillo. Hi, Anna. I'm Mr. Carlos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She's Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am a sales person. Yes. Say sales Thank person. Thank you so much. Okay, it says thank you so much. Mr. Lopez. Okay, very good. Now, who's the next one that was with you? Tamara. Uh, yeah, you, you had just practiced with Tamara. ¿Quién era el otro? Eh, uh, uh, Julia. 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 <laughs> I was Julia. Okay. Good. There you go. Tamara, help me out practicing with Julia now. Be Anna. Okay. Hello. I'm Anna Trujillo. Hi, Anna. I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she is, she is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay, and are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am a sales person. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, there you go. Perfectly, guys. Perfect. Okay, let me see. Uh, is there any other pairs that is missing, guys? Hay algún, alguna pareja más que me haga falta? Dennis, did you participate already? Dennis? I'm here. Okay, did you participate? No. Not yet. Okay. okay, who were you working with? 
uh, with uh, darling with darling okay there you go so we're gonna be working right now okay uh thank you for uh, julia and tamara the last ones that we're practicing thank you but i need to finish with them because it's time and we are just about to go okay we're just gonna wait for them to practice and then we're gonna finish with this in the class okay so dennis you can you can start okay hello i am ana trujillo I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am a sales person. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, very good, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, I think it was the last pair uh, that was missing. Creo que era la última parejita que me faltaba. All right, uh, in order to practice. Good. Thank you for uh, the participation of everybody, guys. I'm gonna stop sharing this for a while. Mañana vamos a continuar, okay? Con algunas actividades que nos quedaron todavía pendientes con el uso de, right, de las just no questions. Lo vamos a hacer como a breve repaso, ok. Vamos a tomar como eso para mañana, right, on this uh, topic. Ahora bien, todos tienen ya acceso a la plataforma o hay alguno todavía que tenga problemas. No, ya tengo acceso. Ok, perfect. Perfect. Bien. Recuerden, si tienen problemas al acceder, eh, me lo pueden notificar en el grupo y yo así notifico soporte técnico para que les puedan ayudar, ¿ok? There you go. Now, uh, I'm about to finish the class, guys, porque ya son las 10 con 2 y no los quiero tener pues, más de las 10. Sé que la mayoría están cansados. Así que voy a pasar a la, eh, directo a la lista de asistencia and then we can go, ¿ok? Recuerden, igual, ahora me voy a quedar con otro participante más, así como me quedé ayer con Dennis, si no me equivoco. Right. Now, let's say, darling, Jasmine. Present. Darling. Present. ¿Podría quedarse un par de minutos después de clase? Para sí. Para feedback. Ok, thank you. Uh, David Rodolfo. All right, so it's not here. Uh, Dennis Adonai. Present. Okay, perfect. Fatima Daniela. Present. Okay, very good. Gabriela Patricia. All right, so she's not here. Uh, Herbert Vidal. Okay, so she's not here. Gladys Teresita. Present. Ok, good. José Roberto. Ok, so he's not here. Juana Hazel. Ok, good. Julia Janira. Yeah. All right. So I, I guess she left. She was there. Kelly Marcela. Present. Ok, excellent. Crisia Vanessa. Present. Ok, very good. Uh, Manuel José. Manuel, are you there? Ah, yeah, ahí está. <laughs> Solo que no lo veo que encendió el micrófono. Ok, Manuel, I saw you. Uh, Mauricio Giovanni. Present. Okay, very good. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Ángel, so he's not here now. Uh, Moisés Alberto. Right here. Okay, very good. Natalie Andrea. Natalie Andrea. Present. Okay, perfect. 
a Norma Maritza. Present. Okay, excellent. Tamara Lisette. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Walter Antonio. All right, so he's not here. And we got the last one, William Alexander. Okay, which is not here. Okay, guys, it was a pleasure to have you here. And let's see you tomorrow in another video conference, okay? Good night, guys. Good night. Hey, good night. Dancen. Nos vemos mañana. Good night, good night. Thank Bye -bye. you guys very much. All right. A mí no me voy a llamar, teacher. Hi, Ruth. A mí no me voy a llamar. Ah, sí, Ruth. No, ya la tengo acá. Ruth, no, Emi. Ah, ya. Ya, ya, ya. There, ok. Ok. See you tomorrow. Okay. Teacher, una consulta. Ah. Me puede mandar otra vez el link al grupo porque vacié el chat y se me fue para sí. ingresar a la plataforma y hacer la tarea. Ah, vaya, perfecto. Ya lo voy a mandar de nuevo al grupo y si tiene inconvenientes al, al ingresar, me notifica y así yo eh, comparto la información con su aporte técnico para que le puedan apoyar. Ok, okay right. espero. Perfecto. Ok, very good. All right, guys, there you go, uh, darling. Estos 10 minutos básicamente son para aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener con relación a la clase que tuvimos ayer y esta clase. All right. So basically, uh, this is like this couple of minutes for, right? Uh, so I don't know, darling, if you have any question. No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta, alguna duda con respecto a lo que hemos visto. Fíjese que el verbo to be creo que le está costando un poco. Ajá. En los usos del verbo to be. Ajá, exacto. Ok, good. Vaya, vamos a ver un poco entonces cómo se conjuga el verbo to be. Va, listen. El verbo to be. Es la forma base del verbo to be. Pero cuando lo utilizamos ya en simple present, lo dividimos en tres. ¿Ok? En tres palabras. Am, um, is, and are. Son estas tres. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Ahora bien, si recuerda, tenemos los llamados pronombres. ¿Right? ¿Qué tenemos? I, you, tenemos he, she, it, we, tenemos you again, y tenemos they. Right. Y le vamos a agregar acá un nombre propio. Le vamos a agregar acá María Enda. Pedro, por ejemplo. Ah, ya vamos a ver el porqué. Vaya. Estas tres que tenemos acá, del uso del verbo to be, las podemos conjugar con estos pronombres. Right? Entonces acá tenemos I, lo combinamos con am. Para decir, like, yo soy o yo estoy. Entonces acá... Este se utiliza más que todo en primera persona, right? Para referirnos a nosotros mismos, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿cómo así? Yo puedo decir, I am a teacher, para decir, yo soy un profesor, right? O usted puede decir, I am a professional. Ah, soy una profesional. So you see? Entonces, el I lo conjugamos con la forma del verbo to be, am. ¿Ok? Sí. Ahora bien, el you. El you por lo general lo conjugamos con la forma del verbo to be, are. Para decir, tú eres o tú estás. ¿Ok? Entonces, es como si yo le dijese a usted, hey darling. You 
Check this out. You are a student. You are a student. Ah, usted mm -hmm. es, usted es una estudiante. O tú eres una estudiante. Se puede traducir de, de esas dos maneras. Right? Entonces, recuerde, el you lo conjugamos con are. Para decir, tú eres o tú estás. ¿Ok? Ahora bien, este es el uso ya de los singulares. He. Exactly. He. ¿Qué significa he? He. 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 Él. Él. Ok. Es cuando nos referimos a un hombre, ¿verdad? He. Lo conjugamos con is. ¿Ok? Es para decir, él es... O él está. ¿Ok? There you go. Entonces podemos decir acá en un ejemplo. He is a doctor. Right? Él es un doctor. Right? ¿Podría darme un ejemplo adicional usted? Sería... Mm. Mm. He is okay. happy. He is happy. Happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Very good. He is happy. Él es feliz. O él está feliz. Okay, very good. Now, she. Es para referirnos a? Ella. Ella. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Entonces acá también utilizamos la forma de is. ¿Ok? Is. Entonces acá igual. Decimos. She is a nurse. Ah, ella es una enfermera. ¿Ok? Entonces acá ya es para referirnos meramente a una mujer. ¿Right? Good. It. ¿En qué situaciones usamos it? Para cuando nos referimos sobre algo que no tiene vida. O sea, a objetos. Objetos. ¿Ok? ¿Qué significa it? It significa eso o esa. Es. Ah, ok. Eso o esa. O esa, exactly. Right? There you go. Y también va con is. ¿Cuándo se utiliza it? Va, ah, mire, se utiliza it cuando ya sabemos del de objeto del que estamos hablando. ¿Ok? Cuando ya conocemos eh, el objeto sobre lo que estamos hablando. Por ejemplo, mire, the computer, va, por ejemplo, I have a computer. Tengo una computadora. It is black. Si se fija, aquí ya llevo it is black. Entonces, este it reemplaza la palabra computadora. Digo, I have a computer. Tengo una computadora. It is black. Esta es... La, eh, negra. Negra, exactly. Entonces, este it reemplaza la palabra computer. Para no ponerla de nuevo, la ponemos it. ¿Y por qué? Porque la computadora es algo que no tiene vida. No okay. Ya, yeah, es un objeto, por así decirlo. Ahora bien, luego tenemos we. ¿Qué significa we? Eh, we, nosotros somos o nosotros estamos. Exactly. Va conjugado con are. We are. We are... Por ejemplo, friends. We are friends. Nosotros somos amigos. So you see, this is like the way how it works. Entonces, esa es la forma en cómo trabaja all right, el we junto con el are en esta parte. Como de la canción, vea. <laughs> exactly, exactly. There you go. So this is the way. Ahora bien. Tenemos este you. Recuerde que este otro you es para plurales. Pero igual se utiliza con are. 
ustedes son y ustedes están, ¿verdad? Correcto, correcto. Y si vamos a colocar una profesión, por lo general esa profesión tiene que eh, escribirse en plural, ¿ok? Sí. ¿Cómo así? You are, mm, let's say, carpenters. You see? Esa es, ajá, esa es al final significa plural. Eh, significa el plural, exacto. En, significa en todas plural. las palabras, cuando lleve esa S, es porque es plural. En la mayoría de palabras es porque es plural, especialmente okay. los que son nombres. Por ejemplo, acá okay. tenemos friends. Esto significa amigos. Amigos. Okay. Okay. Y es plural. Al igual que acá, carpenters. Es plural. Es plural. Entonces, ustedes son carpinteros. Eso significa. Good. Y luego tenemos they para decir ellos, que they también are. lo utilizamos con are, como ellos. Ellos son y ellos están, ¿verdad? Correcto, correcto. Y podemos decir they are in the office. Ah, ellos están en la oficina. Ok, very good. ¿Podría darme un ejemplo adicional usted? Ok. Usando they are. Ah, sí, ahorita, solo estoy pensando. Ok, good. They are. Ok. They are. Dancer. De baile. Mm. Así. Así serían bailarines. Ah, ok. Ok. Y sería mejor porque aquí no podemos poner otro verbo adicional. Porque ya ese otro verbo nos cambia la estructura. Okay. ¿Okay? Y aquí tiene que ser meramente un nombre o una profesión, no un verbo adicional. Y dancer está correcto. Okay. They are dancers. Es como ellos son bailarines. bailarines. Okay. Exactly. Y you got it like this. Entonces, esta es la forma en nosotros cómo podemos utilizar el verbo to be en una oración junto con los pronombres. Aquí había escrito María y Pedro porque básicamente, recuerde, si hablamos María, es una mujer. ¿Y cuál es el pronombre que, que, que usamos para referirnos a una mujer? Sí, sí. Exactly. Entonces acá, básicamente, si ya tenemos María, ya no colocamos chi y solo colocamos is. Sí. Y nosotros decimos María is a... Nurse. María is a nurse. Ah, María es una enfermera. All right. Al igual que Pedro, cae en la categoría de is. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque Pedro es un nombre propio que sustituye al pronombre he. Y decimos Pedro is. Right. Y acá decimos Pedro is a mm, what? Carpinter. Okay, carpenter. Okay, so you see? Pedro okay. is a carpenter. Pedro es un carpintero. Okay. Entonces es la forma en cómo nosotros conjugamos el verbo to be en oraciones afirmativas Right, negativas y respuestas o preguntas cortas. Okay. Right, no sé si tenemos alguna duda adicional, si hemos comprendido cómo funciona el verbo to be con los pronombres. No, hoy sí quedó claro. Ah, ok, very good. Eh, no sé si hay algo más, darling, en lo que yo le pueda ayudar. No, hasta el momento creo que eso es lo que más me costaba. Como prácticamente, o sea, todo va con eso relacionado. Yeah, almost everything. It goes that way. 
casi siempre va todo lo mismo relacionado. Ok. Diego llegó. No sé si tiene alguna duda adicional con alguna otra parte que hemos visto. Por el momento no. Ok, good. Recuerde que si algo no va quedando claro en una clase, puede encender el micrófono y preguntarme sin ningún tipo de compromiso, ¿ok? Porque la idea es que todo vaya quedando claro en las clases, ¿ok? Ok. There you go, darling. Ahora sí la dejo descansar entonces y nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, ¿ok? Bye. Bye, bye.